Morning folks, how are all you? I'm going to talk today about the law of delicate balance and what that actually means. So let's take time to reflect on what we're doing just now. This is kind of balance, so we're not going 100 miles an hour. We're getting time to fit into things. And look what I've got right across from me here. Do you see him or her? See that? It's staying totally still. Literally three metres away from me. There you go. So this is where I am every morning. Morning Louise, morning Andrea. When I sit and talk about everything. So right in between nature. I've told you this before. This is the secret garden. Or the gardens at Silverburn Park. What a glorious day, eh? And that's the laws of delicate balance. Look, right down the bottom. See the rabbits running about? Brilliant. And then the odd person walking their dog, trying to stop them from chasing the rabbits. <laughs> that's the laws of delicate balance. So let's talk about this a wee bit more and what this actually means. It's a difficult one, especially if you're like me. I get completely obsessed and focused on achieving a goal. And sometimes it's a black or white situation in my mind in achieving this. And there is no middle ground. Morning, Francis. Yet we need to, I need to learn. I need to learn. Maybe other people need to learn as well. There is actually a middle ground. I tend to become completely obsessed with what I want to achieve in a goal which can often lead to an imbalance in the universe, in my universe, and everything else in my personal life gets ignored. So I have to force myself to focus on personal tasks rather than business goals. It's kind of a bit of a mix for me. I am what I am, <laughs> if that makes sense. It's just part of me. It's what I do. Well, the universe doesn't think rationally and allocate time and opportunity in a balanced way like we can. It doesn't say things like, oh, she's overloaded just now, so I'll wait before I send her some more opportunities. So things can change at any moment, and you just have to work on a way to balance the opportunities that arrive in order to cope. Remember, you might not be aligned yet and miss on opportunities, but be assured that they'll come again. So don't beat yourself up about it. You know, I've, I could reflect on the past, and I spoke to Kessa yesterday, because uh, Kessa's a mortgage broker over in Freedom Finance. I spoke to him yesterday about this, about um, constantly working all the time and constantly going at it. And, and some of the opportunities I missed in the past. But I only told him that to reflect back on them, but I really, I really never defined that as my future. Um, and yeah, I missed out on it, big deal. Something else will come along. It's one of these things. There's a balancing act. The universe will give me something else. Uh, and I land on my feet again. Um, and that's the way I look at things. You know, it doesn't matter what happens and what, throws, uh, what life throws at you, you'll land on your feet. It just means that you have to do more work on yourself and become aligned and ready to receive the opportunities that the universe will send your way. Just exactly what I spoke about. Over time, doors that were previously blocked will open when you align yourself more and more, but again, I come back to saying this might take a lot of time and effort and balance to accommodate these opportunities. Remember, success is a journey. It's not a destination. Mon and Amory. You can begin to see how the laws of attraction are all intertwining when you think about it. If you've watched the other episodes in series in the series, um, you'll see how it's all intertwining and how it all makes sense and it all comes in like the laws of manifestation. Um, and the, all the laws of attraction that bring together, and we're going to talk about more in the coming days. And they make up the overall picture and the life of abundance. So finally, gratitude and contentment are very important. Be thankful for what you have now, knowing things are improving while still living happily in the moment. Be thankful for what you've got right now in front of you. What's happened? I mean, a lot of people are going through tough times. I've got it easy in comparison to what they're going through. Keep your mind on your desire, but do not contradict the law of unwavering desire. 
by focusing on desperation. You know that it will happen and enjoy living in the now. Hi Nigel. And I'll see you tomorrow at 7.30. I'm away to the beach. Way.